Hey everyone, it's Scott again with newportraitbiz.com and what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through how to use our custom overlays here, our quotes that we created with all of these unique fonts and all of these layouts, these, uh, you know, see how these are kind of lay out a certain way. And believe it or not, it takes a long time to do that. And that's why we wanted to create this set. Actually, we had requests from some of our club members that wanted these. They were being asked for by their clients. So we decided to create a set. Uh, but let me just say, it's we've got probably 12 to 18 hours in creating just 21 of these um, between, uh, you know, finding the fonts that we wanted to use, the layouts, the quotes, all that stuff, and then uh, compiling them so they're easy to use and easy to customize. So I wanted to take a, a minute here, or a few minutes, and walk you through how you can use these, all right, and how you're supposed to use these. So the very uh, first thing I'm going to do is just delete that, okay? So we have our blank image right here that we want to put an overlay on. Now, we're going to want to go find the overlay. Now, if you downloaded these, they're going to probably be on your desktop or wherever you have your downloads, and then you're going to go find that folder, all right? And this here has all of them in the folder. Now, you may be in this view or you may be in this view. It doesn't really matter, and it doesn't really matter if you're on a Windows or a PC. These are PSD files, which are Photoshop files. All right, so we're going to go and find the one that we're going to use for this one, which is grass stains, and then we're just going to click open. Now, we have it open right here, and you can notice that it's on black, and we did that just so it shows up but you're not gonna use the black layer. It's just there for that purpose. The other thing we have here is where it says words to edit. This is the unflattened version of all of the words, like grass stains is on its own, and sign is on its own, baseball games is on its own, oh, oh the joys is on its own. So all of those you can customize the color. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute, but the quick and easy way to do this, if you just wanna have it this color or one solid color, you're just gonna take the quick image version. That's why we did two of these. We did this so it's super easy to just take this, open it up, okay, we've got to open, we've got the image that we wanna overlay, and then we just drag it in. And now we're just gonna move that into location. I'm gonna hold the shift key down while I go ahead and transform it. Now, I know, let me go back here, uh, don't apply. Sometimes you don't see the bounding box, and I get emails from people asking why. So we're just gonna to wanna to make sure that the auto select is on and then the show transform is on. Okay, the auto select is just so this way here, you can click on it and it'll it'll toggle between both. Like if I go here, it's gonna now go to the background and then if I click on this, it's gonna go to there. So just a little side note there. So the, the show transform controls is the main one, but I always like auto select as well. All right, so now what we wanna do is hold the shift key down so we can keep this in uh, constraints. Now if you didn't wanna keep it in constraints, you don't have to, it's just text, right? Um, now just hit your pointer tool, apply, and you're basically done if you want to leave it white. Now, you may want to uh, create this whole thing a, a totally different color, the entire thing. Well, all we have to do now is just go to layer, style, and then we can go to color overlay. And then I may want to go in here and pick something up from his uniform. So I'll just take the color picker, slide this out of my way, and go in there, and maybe that's the color that I want to go with and then you have that all one color. Now, I know some of you might be saying, well, what if I just want grass stains to be a light green and the rest of it just to be white? Well, that's pretty easy to do as well because what we've done here, let me delete this, is now, in order to make that happen, we have to open that raw data file that we, we were giving you within the set, words to edit. You're gonna click on that, okay? And then here, this is the one now that we're gonna select if we wanna change that color. But here's a couple things I wanna point out. This here, this quick image version, if you're going to change a color in here, you're gonna to wanna to turn that off. Because what's gonna happen is if you don't turn that off, this is on the top layer, it's gonna cover any of these words. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean. So let's just go ahead and change this grass stains to like a light green. So I'm gonna go layer, style, color overlay, and then I'm gonna pick a greenish color. Let's go with something, well, just so you can get the idea. Okay, something like that. Or I may even want to uh, go into this image over here and pick something up, which I can do. But let's just go with that for right now so you get the idea. And then I'm gonna say okay, and then there it is, right? Now if I turn this quick image version back on, look, it, it goes back to white. Because this is the entire uh, quote all on one layer, all, uh, it's merged down into one layer, all right? So now what we have to do is one more step in order to make this work. Make sure that the quick image version is off. Make sure that your background is off. 
make sure that these eyeballs are all turned on and then make sure you're on your pointer tool, go to layer and then merge visible. Now we've just compiled all of those on their own layer. Now I can drag this over to here and then I can drag it into position just like before and I can scale it to whatever size that I want and I can move it around and click apply. That's as easy as it is. Okay. Now here's one th other thing that I want to point out. Make sure, let's go back here. You do not save over top of this file now. If you save over top of this file, what's going to happen is you're going to lose all of the individual uh, words, okay? And then you're not going to be able to come back here and edit. And I'm going to probably get emails from people saying, Scott, can you resend me that file? And that's going to be time consuming on my part. So I, I want to try to you know fix that right now. So I say create a whole nother duplicate copy of this somewhere on another hard drive, on a disk, wherever, on a, you know, a memory stick, whatever. Um, make another copy because I know that that will probably happen and then um, we'll run into that issue. So, you know, just make sure that you don't save over that file because what you've done here, once you drag this into here, you don't need this open anymore. So then I can just go in here and just click on this. It's going to say save and say don't save. And then I still have this one right here all by itself. Okay, so that's how you can do it. Now, I'm going to show you a little cheat here, okay? It's a little cheat strategy that you can use that if you don't want to go through those other steps, let's say that you did all that, you got this in here, but you don't really like the color green as much and you want to change that. Well, it's going to be kind of hard to do if you want to come in here now and, and do that. Uh, so here's a couple ways you can do it. There's two different ways. The first way is you can just go into your hue and saturation and then go into your green or whatever color that you are working with and then you can start to play with it. Okay, see what we've done there? So I can make it like a, you know, a light yellow or cream or, you know, make it a little bit more red, you know, but you get the idea, but I'm just selecting the green. Now if this was blue, then I'd want to go into the blue channel and do that. Okay, so that's, that's an easy way to do it. The other way you can do it is you can take and cut that particular one out. Now in this case there's no le uh, letters that are getting in the way so I could go here and just make sure I'm down a little bit, make sure I'm on that layer and then go layer, new and then cut. And now what I've done is I've just separated that and then I can do the same thing as I did before, layer, style and then I can go color overlay and then I can go ahead and select a color that I want to use and um, that's not the color. Let's say it's that color. Well, something like that. You get the idea. All right. So that's two different ways that you can do that, that you can create different colors for different words with not that much more work. But the first way, like I showed you, um, using the hue and saturation works really well, um, too. So you can do it that way. But hey, these are just ways that you can manipulate the particular quote, but have fun with them right? And uh, offer them to your clients. And I'm sure that they will be a big hit, especially if you show people them. I can't stress that enough. If you don't show this stuff, then it's not going to get looked at and people aren't even going to know you have it. So you want to post this stuff on Facebook, email your email subscribers if you have any, which you should, and uh, let them know about these cute little quotes that you get to share. All right. So that's it. Once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com. Enjoy these. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you later.